to Intelligence Gateway. JavaScript Course Lecture 2. In this lecture, we will learn about control flow and loops. Introduction to control flow conditional statements if else if else switch statements. Loops for while, do while break and continue statements or handling try catch conclusion. Introduction to control flow. Control flow is an essential concept in programming that determines the order in which instructions are executed. It allows programmers to create logic and make decisions based on certain conditions in simpler terms. Control flow decides what happens next in a program. Imagine you're reading a comic book where the story progresses based on the choices made by the characters. Control flow works in a similar way where the program's execution path changes based on certain conditions. It's like being the author of your own comic book, deciding how the story unfolds based on the choices you make. Conditional statements if, else if. Else conditional statements are used in programming to make decisions based on certain conditions. They allow the program to execute different blocks of code depending on whether a condition is true or false the most. Commonly used conditional statements are if, else if, and else. The if statement checks if a condition is true and executes a block of code if it is. The else if statement allows for multiple conditions to be checked and executed if they are true. Finally, the else statement provides a default action to take if none of the previous conditions are met. Switch statements. Switch statements are a powerful alternative to a false statements. They allow for concise and efficient code that is easier to read and maintain. One of the main benefits of switch statements is their ability to handle multiple cases with a single statement. This makes them ideal for situations where there are many possible outcomes, such as in a game or simulation, additionally. Switch statements can be faster than a false statements when dealing with large numbers of cases. Loops for while. Do while loops are a fundamental concept in programming that allow us to execute a block of code repeatedly. There are three types of loops for while and do while. The for loop is used when we know the number of times we want to execute the code, the while loop is used when we don't know the number of times we want to execute the code, but we have a condition that needs to be met. The do while loop is similar to the while loop, but it will always execute the code at least once. Loops are important because they help reduce code redundancy and improve efficiency. Instead of writing the same code multiple times, we can use a loop to execute it as many times as we need. This makes our code shorter, easier to read, and easier to maintain. Additionally, loops can help us automate repetitive tasks, such as processing large amounts of data. Break and continue statements. Break and continue statements are powerful tools for controlling the execution of loops in your code. The break statement allows you to immediately exit a loop while the continue statement skips over an iteration and moves on to the next one. Using these statements can greatly improve the readability of your code by reducing the number of nested if statements and improving the flow of your loops. However, it's important to use them judiciously to avoid creating hard-to-follow code. Error handling try-catch errors are inevitable in programming, but with the use of try-catch blocks, we can prevent our programs from crashing and provide a better user experience. When an error occurs within a try block, the catch block is executed, allowing us to handle the error gracefully. For example, imagine a user inputs an invalid email address in a registration form without error handling. The program would crash and the user would be left confused. However, with a try catch block, we can catch the error and display a helpful message to the user, guiding them towards correcting their mistake. Conclusion? Control flow and loops are fundamental concepts in programming that allow developers to control the flow of execution in their code, JavaScript. 
being a versatile and widely used programming language. Utilizes control flow statements and loops to manage the logic and repetition of tasks. Conditional statements control flow. This includes the if, else if, and else statements, which help to execute different blocks of code based on specific conditions. Switch statements, an alternative to multiple if statements. The switch statement allows you to match a value against multiple cases and execute corresponding code blocks. Loops, JavaScript provides different loop structures to repeat a block of code. Until a certain condition is met, common loops include for, while, and do, while. Loop control statements. These statements allow you to control the behavior of loops. Examples include break, which terminates the loop early and continue, which skips the current iteration and moves to the next one dot nested loops. You'll explore how to use loops inside other loops to handle more complex repetitive tasks practical examples throughout the course. You'll likely encounter real-world examples and exercises to solidify your understanding of control flow and loops. By the end of the course, you should have a solid grasp of how to use control flow statements and loops effectively to implement conditional logic and handle repetitive tasks in your JavaScript programs. These skills are essential for building interactive web applications, performing data manipulations, and solving various programming challenges. Thanks for watching. For more information, like, comment, and subscribe our channel.